Welcome students! This video tutorial will walk you through Blackboard, CUNY's course management system. Your professors will use Blackboard to post course materials, post and collect assignments, and communicate with you. Before we get into Blackboard, let's talk about course formats. Silverman offers hybrid and super hybrid courses. In hybrid courses, you spend two hours in the classroom and one hour online in Blackboard. In super hybrid courses, you attend two to three in-person classes, but spend most of your time working in Blackboard. To access Blackboard, you must first register for an account. Browse to the CUNY Portal webpage and register for a new account. Once you've registered, you can log into Blackboard from the CUNY Portal, from Quick Links on the Social Work website, from the Hunter College website, and from the ICIT website. The ICIT website, by the way, is a great website to bookmark because it has student resources, the student help desk information, and system status updates for all CUNY services. This is the main page for Blackboard. Before we look at a sample course, let's update our email address. On the left-hand side, you'll see a tools widget. Click on Update Email Address to switch over from your Gmail, AOL, Queens College, Baruch, or another email to your My Hunter email address. Okay, so let's move on to your courses. Your courses will be listed on the right-hand side. If you don't see any courses listed here, make sure that the triangle is facing down. If you still don't see your courses listed here, reach out to your professor and find out when they will make the course available to you. The home page for the course always lands on the announcements page. Your professor will post announcements about things like deadline changes or class cancellations. These announcements are often emailed out to you, so again, make sure that your Hunter email is linked to Blackboard. Although your professor may email the syllabus to you before classes start, they will often post it in Blackboard as well. Check the menu for a tab labeled Course Information or Syllabus. The syllabus may be a downloadable Word file or it may be a PDF which opens up in the browser. Note that the PDF can be printed or downloaded. The syllabus contains all the information you'll need to succeed in the class. It has instructor contact information, the course description, course learning objectives, the applicable Council on Social Work Education competencies, required materials, the assignments, grading scheme, all of the Hunter College and Silverman School of Social Work policies, as well as a week-by-week -week outline. Many of your Silverman professors will also post course materials in Blackboard. Here you can see an example of PowerPoint slides, a video, as well as an article. Responding to discussion board questions counts towards the one-hour online requirement for hybrid classes and the class participation requirement for super hybrid classes. Review the syllabus to see what the expectations are for responding. Many professors will expect you to respond to the posted questions and comment on a classmate's post. Before you respond to a discussion question, check for a grading rubric. A grading rubric outlines the criteria that your professor will look for as they grade your responses. To do this, you can click on grading information. If you see a little box on the right, open it up. This is your grading rubric. To respond to your professor's post, click Create Thread. And to respond to your classmate, open up their post and click Reply or Quote. In addition to participating in discussions, you may have one or more individual assignments. Here you can see an example of a lit review, a final term paper, and a quiz module. If we click into the lit review, you can see the due date, the points possible, as well as rubric. Not all professors will include a rubric. If they do, take a look at it before you start writing. For longer written assignments, your professor may use Turnitin. Turnitin is a software used to detect plagiarism. You'll know it's a Turnitin paper because you'll see the Turnitin logo. Plagiarism is a serious offense, so make sure you review the Hunter College's academic integrity policy, which is listed in your syllabus. Before you submit a paper to Turnitin, make sure you've added all of your citations for quotes and any statements you've paraphrased. If you have any concerns about your paper, reach out to the Silberman Writing Center. Some professors may also set up online meeting rooms for small group meetings or to conduct office hours. 
To join a meeting, you only need to click on the title of the meeting. Once in, you can turn on your audio and video to join in the conversation. Some of your professors who post grades in Blackboard will also make the My Grades feature available to you. This will allow you to see what assignments are coming up and how you're progressing through the semester. Finally, if you have any technical issues, make sure that you reach out to the help desk. Contact information is posted in every Blackboard course site. Make sure you let your professor know as well, especially if the technical issues are affecting your ability to meet a deadline. So that's all we have for this Blackboard tutorial. Good luck with your semester!